Development on Pittsburgh's North Shore certainly has not gone as smoothly as developers had hoped. Yeah, the original lineup of restaurants have faced setback after setback because of financial problems. Now comes word that another restaurant is out of the picture. John Shumway is live with more. John. Yeah, and the developers remain pretty positive about what's going to happen over here, but it is a far cry from where we started. You remember Toby Keith's place was going to be down there on the end. It's not coming. There was going to be a Japanese steakhouse inside that door. It's not coming. Burgatory has opened and actually is doing very well. Bar Louie is coming. And then down on the far end of the building, KDK has now learned that the North Park Lounge is no longer part of the picture. The lunch hour hit, and so did the crowd at Burgator. It's been exceptional. We uh, we had expectations to do a certain volume, and we've far exceeded our, our initial expectations. Co-owner Herky Pollock says game days have been almost unbelievable. I smile because we've had our five best days in company history on the Steelers' days or pit days, so it's been absolutely phenomenal. Just across the breezeway, work is at a fever pitch, trying to get Bar Louie ready for its opening next month. The atmosphere is going to be a little edgy, but classy. You know, we like to do high end martinis, um, but we kind of have tattoos and uh, we keep the lights a little dark and the music a little high. The Bar Louie folks are in the midst of hiring more than 100 people and taking applications up the street at the Hyatt. We're looking for a really high energy, uh, reliable, hardworking kind of people. Uh, that just like to have fun and, and get the job done. Next door to Bar Louie, the shell that was to be the North Park Lounge with its cabana bar outside hardly got off the ground. Investment issues have derailed the project, and owner Mark Baranowski has turned his attention to other projects he's working on. It's not the first original tenant to leave. Toby Keith's chain has suffered well documented financial issues, and the Japanese steakhouse that was to go between Keith and Burgatory also had dollar issues. While there's disappointment in the delay, the developers are moving on with a tenant confirmed for the steakhouse slot and three strong tenants interested in each of the Keith and the NPL spaces. The end result would be we're going to have a far better lineup for 10 or 20 years versus one season of, of, of downtime right now. Now, you might remember the last time we talked about this development over here was in reference to Ben Roethlisberger looking for a place for his restaurant. The developers won't say whether he's in the picture or not, but they feel pretty positive they'll be able to sign the rest of these restaurants probably within the next month or so. So here's the schedule we're looking at. Bar Louie is going to be opening up uh, mid-February or so. Of course, Burgatory is open now. So these two will be in operation through most of the baseball season. And then if everything goes well, they hope the rest will be up and running for next year's football season. Live on the North Shore, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.